Hello, everyone, and welcome to Film Book. My name is Doug S. I am uh, the host of The Complete Works, but today I'm going to be doing a review, separate away from my uh, regular role of The Complete Works, and doing a review of Sylvester Stallone's Rambo, Last Blood, which is the fifth in the series of the Rambo series. And um, today, like we said, we're going to be reviewing uh, the fifth installment of the series, Rambo, Last Blood, starring Sylvester Sloan, who also co-wrote uh, the screenplay along with uh, Matt Cernick. Hope I'm saying that right, Matt Cernick. Um, in terms of that, it was directed by Adrian uh, Gernberg, and it was released back in September uh, on the 20th of 2019. Uh, for the research I was able to do, it had a box office success of around ninety, excuse me, ninety-one million dollars, with a budget around fifty million uh, that it was budgeted to uh, make this film. It's only eighty-nine minutes in length, and it was released by Liongate, uh, like I said, back in September, um, and it, it did pretty well at the box office. Almost doubled its money um, in terms of that. Now, if you remember the Rainbow series, I just said it's the fifth installment. You know, we go back to uh, 2000, excuse me, 1982, when the original Rainbow was uh, released and the world um, uh, got their first look at J uh, John Rambo. And then we fast forward to 2019 and we find Sylvester Stallone playing the same character. And he's 73 years of age. Um, so just a couple um, things to keep in mind and, and some fun little trivia in, in regards to that um, film. Um, before we get into uh, too much of the film, I would say I, I thought the movie was, was fine. Um, overall, um, I enjoyed, man, my favorite of all the uh, series was the 82 version, the original Rambo. Uh, First Blood uh, installation of the series. Um, to me, it really felt like Rambo had, has kind of like lost its lust a little bit, a luster um, in, in terms of things. Um, here we are in the fifth installment, and it's, for the most part, the same thing over and over again. But I thought in this one, The Last Blood... Um, might have been properly named Rambo Last Blood in the sense that I found that this was probably the, the goriest, uh, the most violent, not that others wasn't being killed or, um, you know, others were, were being attacked, but it seemed like in this version uh, or in this series or in this film, uh, Last Blood, that they almost went over the top in it. I digress. We'll get back to that in, in just a, a minute. So let me give you a, a quick overview of the movie. What's the, what's the story? So in Rambo, Last Blood, John Rambo, played by Sylvester Sloan, is finally starting to enjoy a quiet life, living on a ranch, a horse ranch in Arizona, uh, alongside uh, a family friend, uh, Maria, and her teenage granddaughter, granddaughter excuse me, uh, Gabrielle who uh, he seems to have helped raise, and he considers the two of the ladies family. Um, and uh, Gabrielle uh, even calls him Uncle John in the film, in, in terms of that. And so when he finds or he learns that Gabrielle is going to be le leaving to go to college, but before she gets ready to leave to go to college, she wants to find her biological father, who has left her and her mother several years ago. She then heads to Mexico without Rambo's permission. permission excuse me. Uh, she asks for it. He says no. Basically tells her what a horrible individual her father is and that she should give it some time and, and basically forget about it, let time heal the wounds. And, of course, Gabrielle does not, goes to Mexico. And then, fortunately, when she leaves to go to Mexico, she's kidnapped and she's taken into human traf trafficking ring in terms of that. And as you might expect, that's when uh, Rambo goes to Mexico to retrieve her, but finds himself outnumbered. Uh, in one particular scene, he gets beatly, uh, beaten very badly, uh, a lot of blood and gore, uh, knife marks on the face. Um, he gets into a fight in another scene 
where he's basically uh, putting his hand in, in somebody's chest and, and breaking their bones. And you can see the bones stick it out and, and, and the pressure that was being placed on there um, in terms of that. He finds a journalist, um, Carmel, Carmen, excuse me, uh, which nurses him back to health. And then he enters the den of the thieves. Uh, once again, this time, though, he's brought his own uh, weapons with him. Fortunately, he needs to do that as Ramble um, uh, typically does, kind of lives off the land, if you will, and goes in and attacks and um, and um, retrieves uh, Gabriel. Um, like I said, it wasn't necessarily a bad film. It wasn't a film that, um, I'll be honest with, with you, it wasn't a film that, that I initially wanted to see. Uh, when it came out in the theaters, because I'll be honest with you, the 82, uh, the first one was the, w- was the best. Um, and then I would say the second one w- was right, I wouldn't say right there, but would be number two for me. And then three, four, and now the fifth one here uh, just started to kind of lose its luster, if you will. Uh, it's it's um, very hard to keep a franchise like this going. Um without really changing the plot, really changing uh, the intentions. And what happens is, just like in every single movie that we've had with Rambo, he's haunted by his past. And then that's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and, the, and that's what's kind of uh, fuels the fire and, and keeps him going. And as you can imagine, he uses his uh, skills. He's a very smart, smart man. He's somebody that's been trained uh, very well, and basically he uses those skills to go in and save the day in, in terms of that. Um, like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, it wasn't a film that, that originally had caught my eye, uh, even though I was familiar with the, with the franchise when it came to uh, Rambo. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed and loved the 82 uh, original version in terms of that. This here just didn't seem to to meet the mark for me. Uh, maybe it's because after you know the fifth installment of the the film um, uh, franchise, that I just felt like it was being repeated over and over again. Um, again, I thought in this particular edition of Rambo: Last Blood that that's exactly what we saw it was a lot more violence. We saw a lot more blood. That in itself was not necessarily a bad thing or something that, that didn't turn me off from that. It just seems like we kind of got away from the um, the other Rambo that we knew. It was almost like they were trying to do something special in this film to go over the top. And if that was the objection, then I think they absolutely uh, succeeded in doing that. Um <clears throat> Going over, um, like I said, with with the with the blood, um, in terms of that. Um, overall, if I was going to rate this uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being completely terrible, ten being absolute best, um, I don't think it was a one. I definitely don't think it was a ten either. Um, I'm probably going to give it probably about a f- uh, five and a half uh, stars, five point five uh, out of a ten. And the reason I, I do that is partly is because one, um, it be honest with you, it, it, nothing really changed in the Rambo series. John Rambo is haunted by his past, and he goes and he only does what he's been trained to do, and that is to wipe everybody out and be very aggressive in the process. And to me, that was a little bit of a, a, an overkill in, in this movie. Um, now, in the 82 um, version of Rambo, First Blood, Rambo, in my opinion, didn't have a lot of dialogue. I mean, there was a lot of action, there was a lot of grunting when it came to uh, Sylvester Stallone and Rambo. Now, in this one, um, you know, John Rambo um, talks. I think that part of it is because he is, quote-unquote, uh, mellowed out. He has relaxed. He has slashed, um, um, kind of semi-retired. He's trying to enjoy life. He's 73 years old. He's let some things go, but
But at the same time, you start seeing flashbacks uh, in the film where he, especially at the beginning of the film, where he has been haunted by his past. And that seems to be a theme in all the Rambos is just that he's, he's being haunted by the past and that he then kicks in with his military training to make sure that uh, he goes out and saves the day, whatever that needs to be. And in this case, that's with Gabrielle uh, because she's been picked up uh, with uh, sex trafficking when she was going down there to Mexico to find her, her dad. So in, in terms of that, I, again, like I said, I felt like we've just seen the, the movie already before. It's already been played out. Uh, this time it was with John Rambo and some other character um, in, in terms of that. So that's why I would give it a, a five and a half. Um, and the half point is because it was Sylvester Stallone. And I guess from a sentimental uh, standpoint, I, I did enjoy the, uh, the original uh, Rambo, First Blood, in terms of that, so I'll kick it up a half a point and give it a five and a half stars out of ten. Um, in terms of that, again, the acting wasn't terrible. Uh, if you're looking for something that's uh, action packed, uh, this is your movie. If you're looking for something for violence, this is your movie. I wouldn't say that it was over um, uh, um, 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 oh, um, cussing or anything like that. Um, it is an R-rated movie, um, but uh, the the language wasn't over the top uh, too much. Uh, I really think it was because of the violence that you saw in there, uh, and there uh, really wasn't any um, major sex scenes or anything like that if you were worried about with kids. You got the R rating because, in my opinion, because of the violence and the blood uh, that was really shown uh, in, in this movie of um, Rambo, Last Blood, in terms of that. Um, you'll see some special features uh, with the film. And, uh, you know, obviously there's the uh, uh, trailer that was with the theater or in the movie theaters that's out there. Um, you'll also see um, some of the... Um, uh, 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 Production uh, diaries, the drawings of the last blood. You know, basically what's going to happen is they're, they're sketching everything out on a board and they're kind of walking through the movie in terms of that. And uh, then a lot when it comes to special features um, in, in terms of that. But again, five and a half out of ten. If you're looking for uh, something new and original, I think this is going to be a complete miss for you in terms of that. If you enjoyed the Rambo series, and like I said, this is the fifth in, in the series, I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I think you're going to be right there in line. But like I said, if you're looking for something new and fresh, this is probably not going to be the movie for you in, in terms of that. Um, again, I give it a five and a half out of a ten. And it wasn't a horrible movie, um, but it also wasn't, I think it could have been better in, in terms of that as well.